Welcome back, viewers. Well, now that I've taken... Oh, it appears that... Oh, wait, right, right, right. I'm waiting until I have enough to come all the way down here to unlock that one before moving... Oh, yeah, copycat. Anyways, let's continue the hell onwards. Now then. We've got to wait for, uh, stuff to happen. Did I already sell off my stuff? Yep. Okay, we got to go to the far plane, viewers. So let's get to getting. Before going there, though, you can get past these guys. Pick up an elixir. Those beautiful goddamn elixirs. Question about this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. <laughs> you thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> yeah. You'll see once we get there. Orin's not coming? going in. I do not belong there. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the fireflies react to them. They take on the form of a dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. So, we go to the far plains. And that must be Chapu. What the? Still some fucking amazing FMVs. The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they looked so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Let's talk to Kimari. Or not. <laughs> uh, let's see. Lulu! Why don't you try calling someone? 
All you have to do is think about them. Okay. Waka. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Now, there's a bit of a thing with this here, viewers. You see Chapu over there. Like with Kuja and Zidane, Zidane, whatever you want to call him. I call him Zidane. Like with those two, I just don't see the resemblance between Chapu and Titus, just like I don't see the resemblance between Kuja and Zidane, or Zidane, whatever you want to call him. Sorry, I know you won't hold it against me. Ah, I gave up that game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe. Not really. You were still alive somewhere, yeah? I just don't Not see the again. resemblance. Here you are on the far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about. I gave him a sword. He likes it. Huh? Wow. And with that, viewers, something very special has happened. Not many people know this, but at this point in the game, the Brotherhood now has gotten its level up and now has strength plus 5, strength plus 10 percent anyways, water strike and sensor. This happens only when you see that cutscene. You have to see that cutscene so it's guaranteed so, to upgrade. Uh, Nina? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bevel that day. My father had defeated Sin and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jack. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, he told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man it really is sin? What would I say is yeah. actually dead hey, and uh, does everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? And uh just I'd hasn't been since see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother uh, Speaking of which uh, Mom uh, it, It's her She's very pretty. Huh. But... Wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. That's my mother you're talking about. Yeah, oh, seriously. I'm sorry. Hmm. It's fucked it's up. Okay. Uh, I think I just... Figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See, so I told him what I thought of him right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but. Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is he all right? Why should she care? If he dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. 
I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Ah, uh, go to him. You'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, I need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> Well, that seems to be it. They're done. Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. Oh. And then Jiskel. Oh, Lord Jiskel! He does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. <laughs> Lord Jisco. He is Lord Jisco no more. Send him now. <laughs> and then something dropped. I don't understand how a man like Lord Chisco can die and not be sent. I would think that he was sent once, but he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. Time for more cutscenes. I will go meet with Maester Seymour. Yuna, Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Um, what? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way is fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For you not, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. So, now we get to run around and talk to people. Let's come over here first. Auto potions good. Buy some before leaving. Guado potions are just like regular potions. In fact, there is no difference between Guado potion and regular potion. When we leave here, we have to go through the Thunder Plains next, you know? Uh huh. Yeah, I do. What's your point? Listen, if Yuna gets married, then I. What? That again? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. See? But if Eunice said she wanted to marry the one she loves, 
I would have to object. Huh? 